everyone, we're going to find two explicit functions by solving for y in terms of x. We're going to graph and differentiate implicitly and explicitly. And this one, the first thing we want to do, since we have to graph this, is I notice right away that this is going to be a circle because the lead coefficients of my x squared and my y squared are 1, and they're the same, and we have a plus. So basically, I'm going to rewrite this so I can graph it by completing the square. So I'm going to group my x's together. Now half of 4 is 2, and you square it, plus 4. And then for the y's, I'm going to be y squared plus 6y. Half of 6 is 3. Square it, and you get 9 equals 0, and we have to add the two things that we added, so that's going to be, oh, we're going to subtract the 9 here, just minus 9, and then we have to add the 4 and the 9. Therefore, here the 9's cancel, we'll have 4 over there, and then this is, we have perfect square trinomials now. So we just take half of the 4 and then half of the 6 equals 4. So there's your circle. And now we have to solve uh, uh, explicitly so we can um, differentiate. So I'm going to write this as y plus 3 squared equals 4 minus... Um, x minus 2 squared, take the square root of both sides, and you get y plus 3 equals plus or minus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared, and then subtract 3. So you get y equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared. And then that way we can differentiate this explicitly. All right, so I went ahead and graphed this as the circle with my center as 2, negative 3, and my radius is 2. And this top part is your y equals negative 3 plus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared and this bottom part of the circle the half circle thing so that'd be y1 and then y sub 2 equals negative 3 minus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared alright now we're going to go ahead and differentiate so our function is going to be y equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared. Now we're going to differentiate y <coughs> excuse me, with respect to x. Well, uh, I'm also going to rewrite this as um, negative 3 plus or minus 4 minus x minus 2 squared to the 1 half. So the, the uh, derivative of negative 3 is just 0. You get plus or minus, and we're going to do the uh, uh, chain rule. And so we're going to get uh, plus or minus 1 half times 4 minus x minus 2 squared to the negative one half, then we have to differentiate inside here twice, basically. So we're going to get um, the four goes away, and then you're going to bring this two in front. So that's going to be negative two times x minus two times the derivative of x, which is just one. <coughs> okay. So cleaning this up, we know that um, these twos will go away. So we're going to have 
uh, minus plus x minus 2 because of the negative in front of this over square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared. All right, and then we can switch this and write this as negative x minus 2 over and switch this to plus minus. You don't have to, but we want to do that, and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and... Um, put the negative 3 back in, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm going to write negative x minus 2, and I see this negative 3 that got canceled, so I'm going to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 4 minus x minus 2 squared. Since I just added arbitrarily this negative 3, I also have to add it so I don't change the equation. So that still looks like this, this one right here, but I added the negative 3. And the reason I did that is, if, is I know that y equals that. That equals y. So that's going to be negative x minus 2, and that's going to be y plus 3. And the reason we're doing this, again, is because we also have to do this implicitly, and we want the two um, differentiated um, equations to match. All right. So now we're going to do this implicitly. So we have, again, um, I'm going to do, let's see, which one am I going to do? I'm going to write it as, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and write it at the original equation, which was um, x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus 9 equals 0. And then I'm going to differentiate implicitly this uh, equation. So the first one we're going to get is 2x. Now differentiate the y implicitly means we're going to go 2y times the derivative of y. Differentiate that, that's minus 4. Differentiate the 6y, it's going to be plus 6 times the derivative of y. And then the 9 goes away because that's just going to be 0, equals 0. All right, now cleaning this up, we're going to get, um, I'm going to put these two to get, so I'm going to get, um, 2y times y prime plus 6y prime, then I have plus 2x minus 4. Now, go ahead and factor out the y prime, because that's what we're solving for, the derivative of y. Get 2y plus 6 plus 2x minus 4 equals 0. So let's subtract this, and you're going to get y prime times 2y plus 6 equals negative, and I'm going to go ahead and factor out a 2, which you get a 2x plus 2. And then you divide both sides by um, 2y plus 6, so y prime is going to be uh, negative 2x plus 2. And I'm going to also factor out a 2 here. So that's going to be 2 times y plus 3. And what happens is the 2's cancel. So our derivative of y is going to look exactly like it did when we did it explicitly. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.